Okay, so what I'm going to do here is create a lithophane uh, using the lithophane template. I'm going to start by opening the lithophane template, um, which is here. And we've got our lithophane template. Um, <clears throat> uh, the first thing we're going to do is activate a machine type. So I'm going to go to machine type, mill, and I don't see the techno servo. Oh, there's the techno servo that I want. Now, occasionally, you'll have more than one machine type active, which can be confusing. To get rid, if you've got more than one machine type active, the way to get rid of the excess machine types is select machine type design, then click on the uh, dynamite button right here, which will permanently delete all the operations leaving you with no active machine types. And then you can go back to the machine type menu, select mill and your techno servo. If you don't have the techno servo on the list, select manage list and add the techno servo from over here. So there's our techno servo active. Next thing I want to do is pick an image. Uh, so I'm going to select art new art base surface from image and I'm going to pick uh, something out of my pictures library I'll just pick I'll work with a sample picture That's a fine one. So we'll select open. Do our standard grayscale conversion. And what we want to do to make for the light transmission to work correctly, we want to select to make negative. And then select OK. I uh, want to set our width <coughs> to two inches and set our height range to 0 0.08. This is for the standard lithophane plastic <coughs> in the uh, lithophane kit, which is about 0 .1, 0 0.113 thick. Uh, once you've got that set, select OK. Master Cam will calculate for a while. This is normal when it's really busy. You may get this message, select yes. And then we want to translate the art base surface. We need to put it into, uh, into the circle area here. So we'll go to art, X form art base surface, translate. And we may have to do this a couple of times to make sure it gets in the right place. We'll select our X as 0.5, our Y as 2, then select OK. Wait for it to finish. And that puts it in a little bit a little bit low. So we want to bring this up maybe an eighth of an inch. So I'll go to translate again. And this time I'll set the Y to 0.125. Let it calculate. And that looks much better centered. Okay. Now I want to translate. Now, right now, if I rotate this a bit, you'll see that the art surface is above my uh, containment boundary, which isn't what I want. So I want to change it so that it's below the boundary. So I'll select Art, X Form Art Base Surface. Shift Art Model below Z0. And I'll set the surface top to minus 0 0.01. That ensures that uh, even if I'm a little off on setting my surface or setting my Z0 on the machine, that I will actually cut all parts of this. And we'll select OK. And that'll translate the art surface below Z0. Okay. 
leave our operation name alone and select OK. Now I want to create my boundary. So I'm going to go to X form, offset, and set my, bound, and set my uh, offset distance to 0.1. And select the outer circle and select inside the circle, and that creates a second circle. We'll select OK. Now I don't want the I don't want Mastercam to cut these areas here. I want to have a little bit of a boundary here. So I'm going to use the create line endpoint command to draw a horizontal line here and another one down here. Doesn't matter exactly where I draw. Then we'll select OK. Now I'm going to use the trim command right here or from the edit menu, trim break, trim break extend. I'm going to activate the break option. And to make it simpler with the break option selected, I'm going to also select two entity. So we'll do a two entity break. And then you select the select one of the horizontal lines and the circle. And you see when I do that, when I hover over the horizontal line, you'll see that the horizontal line is now in three sections. There's this section here. There's this section here. You see how it changes color when I hover over it? And there's this section here. It also changes color when I hover over it. The circle is broken into two pieces. There's, well, more than two pieces. There's this section here. See how it changes color when I hover over it? And this section here that changes color when I hover over it. That indicates that I would that indicates my break worked the way I wanted it to. Do the same thing down here. I'll pick the horizontal line. You see how this one's not broken yet because the whole thing is colored white when I hover over it. Pick the horizontal line, pick the circle. And now when I hover over the horizontal line, I'll see that it's broken here. It's broken into three pieces like I wanted it to be. And the circle's broken as well. Once you've got it broken like this, select OK. And then use the delete command to select the portions of the lines and circles that I don't want. And select OK. That gets me the, that gets me this boundary. At this point, it's a good good idea to save my file. So I'm going to save as and put this on my desktop. Now I want to toolpath this. So I'm going to select Art and Toolpath Art Base Surface. Select OK. And I'm going to select a tool. So click on Select Library Tool. And click on Filter. Select None. And then make sure to select the Engrave tool right here. And select OK. I've got a number of engraved tools here. The one that I want is quarter inch 30 degree engrave tool. The diameter is 25-15. Tool number 520. There's actually several of them, but that's the one that I want. <clears throat> if you get this dialog box, select turn off warning for session and select OK. Now double click on the tool and set the diameter to 0.1 and then select OK. The art base surface machining parameters leave our retract plane in quarter inch, set our feed plane to 0.1 absolute, and for the base surface toolpath parameters select parallel spiral contain. Turn on containment bound, turn on tool containment, and pick these lines and arcs that we just created. Then select OK. And then select OK. Mashcam will create the toolpath, which is what it's doing right now.
select save to save our file. Always a good idea to save our file. And we're ready to cut this now. <coughs> uh, if I want to see what the if I want to see what it'll look like when I verify it, I have to set up a stock boundary. Easiest way to do that is to go to stock setup, select all entities, and set the depth to point one two five. Select OK. And then click on the verify button. Go to an isometric view, either this button here or this button here, and then fit. Right click, fit, or this button here. Select run, and that'll start showing me the ver start showing me the verification of my operation. Now this takes a while. You can speed it up a little bit by setting the moves for refresh to 100. <coughs> and just let that run. Now I'm not going to let this finish because I don't really need to see that. Go back to my top view, and I want to post this out, so I'll select uh, the G1 button to post selected operations. From the post processing dialog box, I'll select OK. I'll select the place where I want the file to go, usually a flash drive. Select Save. It'll start the post processor. There's my post processed file. All ready to run. I'll save this. And then I take that post process file over this over to the techno and run my code. And that completes uh, doing a lithophane with MasterCam. Art.